All right, y'all, we're back. We got another film breakdown. We are going to break down David Holston. My guy here in the Discord wanted me to break it down. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have no clue who this is. Absolutely no idea, but we're gonna learn today. We are going to learn today. So let's see who this is. All right, David Holston. American professional basketball player for JDA Dijon Basket of France's LNB Pro A. So overseas guy, overseas guy in France, in France. Or 2019 most valuable player of that French league, okay. Okay. Okay, so he's a smaller guard, 5'6". All right, okay, that's a lot we can learn from here. This is good. So I got all his makes here from from the 2023 or 22, 23 season, I believe. So let's pull it up. Let's see what we can learn. You're gonna learn along with me. Okay, okay, so here, this is a nice slide. This is a slide by. This is something I try to teach a lot of the players, especially the smaller guards. So big is here, he's coming. Look how he pins and extends. This is a one foot slide by, this is tough. Look how he pins and extends, so now there's no way he can reach and get that ball. This is a really tough finish. What do we got next? Oh. Okay, I missed a three, got it back, hit it. I want you to see how he relocates here. This might just look like a normal three, but here he gets it tipped, he relocates to open space, and that gets him that wide open shot. If he just stayed and didn't move, he wouldn't have got that shot. Always relocate. Good D. Same thing. Same exact thing. Watch after this pass. Watch him. He's relocating. Relocate. Relocate to open spot. Then he gets that wide open shot. If you move and move to space, you're going to have the ball find you. It's going to find you somehow. I promise you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. This guy's got game. This guy's got game for sure. One thing I want to point out. Look at that shin angle. That is crazy. Look how low he is to the ground. His hand is touching. That's not just... Like sometimes I'll have some guys do, uh, do snatchbacks and have their hands touch the ground. Look how much he's selling that move. His, that, I try to teach uh, parallel shin angle to the ground. That is crazy. This is where, how you should be uh, getting on your uh, snatchbacks. That's a nice move, for sure. And look at this footwork, too. There's definitely different ways to do it, but I like to teach you this because it's quicker. Because you can do... You know you can do that little hard and step back off this, a little touch step back, but I like this because it's uh, I like this because it's quicker. Watch, I'll put it in four speed. Watch how he brings this foot over right into it. So that gets him that separation without that extra time for that hard and touch step back. And that's not the hard and step back isn't a bad move at all, of course, but that's what I like to teach. We'll watch it one more time. Just watch that right foot come across his body. Yup. I love that footwork. Okay, he likes that under the leg snatch there. This is just good patience. Great patience. The defender knows that this roll is there and he knows he's going to make that pass if it's open. So he's got to recover. He's got to recover, leaving that wide open shot for him to hit it. That's great patience right there. Ooh, what's happening? Okay, I don't know what that is. We'll skip that.
Okay, here. If you ever worked out with me, you know we do this. What is this? This is a soft hedge. Soft hedge. The uh, defender is still attached to the screener, so he just wants you to bounce out. Watch how he bounces out and then immediately attacks. Quick bounce out, attack right off of it. If they, The point of a soft hedge is to get you to bounce out just in time for uh, your defender to get back. So you can't come off that screen tight. But you gotta attack off of that. Watch how he comes off and attacks immediately. Attack. Then he gets that wide open shot. Oh my god, first of all, that's a great pass. We always work on hook passes. For this reason, off the bounce, zips that pass. That's a great pass. You gotta be able to make that pass. That's probably my favorite pass, honestly. Oh, what happened here? It's just a good shot. Just a good shot. I like this guy's game though, for sure. Small guard. The reason it's the reason it's good to study small guards is because as a small guard, you have to be perfect with your skill and mechanics. You can't let there can't be one bad thing. You've got to be perfect, especially if you're going to play pro at this next level. Oh, for, I love this action here. Watch this action off this double pin down. Curl it, pop out. That's nice. That's good basketball. I don't know what happened there, but. Oh my god, that hezzy into the veer? Okay. This is something we can learn from for sure. Hezzy into that veer step. On this hezzy. He's getting his opposite hand close to the ball. His eyes are up and his chest is up. That's why that hezzy works. Gets his hand just a little bit. One, two, veer into him. This is something you guys need to start doing. If you're not. On your drives. Your drives, think of your drives as a, as a race to get to open space. So right here. Right here, it's a race to get to this open space between you two. So as an offensive player, you want to get into your defender. Watch how he takes this outside step, inside step, and now instead of finishing around at the basket, he's finishing at the basket with a great extended layup. That's beautiful. Always want to be drawing contact no matter what. Nice. Same thing here, he's just moving without the ball. One thing as the ball so say, say he was up here and the ball was up here. Say somebody was driving middle. As somebody drives middle, you want to drift down with that ball. That's just normal basketball IQ. It gives them a better angle to get that pass off to you. Which is exactly what he did. Good basketball, good basketball, good basketball. That's nice. That move is nice, but I more want you to watch the basketball that's happening here. Look at how many screens happened in this short period of time. Okay, one screen, two screens, three screens, four screens, five screens. That's how basketball should look. Notice how it's so hard as a def as a as the defense to get around that many screens because that's. That's five reads you got to make in like a 10 second span. And then you're just recovering and recovering and recovering. That's something the overseas leagues do really well. It's just set crazy amounts of screens. Oh my God. His hezzy is nice. So same thing here. Same thing. Watch this bounce out. His hand is coming close to the ball. His level is rising. It looks like he's about to shoot. Last second in out curl. That's such a nice hezzy. Wow.
Smoked it. Look at this patience. Look at this patience. You know what? I'm going to do this tonight in my group. I'm going to do this tonight in my workout. So he gets stopped here. His drive gets stopped. Okay, fine. Pull it out. His eyes are looking that way. Same thing. And then he explodes out for that layup. Great patience. So that's what, it, that's what people mean when they say don't play at 100% pace all the time. He was slow and relaxed. That makes his defender relax, and then he could snap right into it. Good read. It's just a good read on that shot. Oh my god, that's nice. So first of all, on this. First of all, I paused this at the best moment. I'm so good. On this in out, he is taking that hard step inside. And notice his defender's hips are already turned committing that in out. Because if he doesn't commit to it, he's blown by for a bucket. Right? Because the defender knows there's nobody back here helping. Let's put a slow motion. So he's already biting on that. His feet are all tangled. He's gone. Bump Euro. Initiate contact. He's going to slow down and decelerate on this first step, which is going to allow his defender to slide past and him to go into that Euro. Slide right past, Euro. Yup. See, look where his defender is. You get somebody going full speed and you can decelerate. That's a very, that is a very, very, very important skill you got to have. And that just comes back to body control and being able to balance on one foot. So you should start doing some balance exercises, some one foot exercises, one leg exercises, sorry. So you can do stuff like that. Being able to decelerate is just as important as being able to accelerate. Good pass. Smoked it. Nice. Nothing much to break down here. You can look at his split stance, how he pops off of this hang. He's going to split his stance, so he's going to get a little bit of an acceleration right there. Split right up into it. That's a good, uh, good footwork you guys can use, too, to get from zero to um, your 100 quick. Okay, nice transition three. The thing with transition threes, they're a great shot. Especially, especially in this situation, that's a good gamble to take. Yes, the percentage is lower, but you got three people here, four people, I guess, if he crashes, versus one or two to get that rebound. So that's a good gamble to take. I would take that. Whereas if it was these two guys were back and then these three were there, I'm not sure I would necessarily take that gamble. I'd probably just try to go in and get a foul call or get the layup. But that's a good calculated gamble to take. Okay, he loves that, that under the leg wrap. But what set that up? What made that uh, move work? This hang dribble right here. That pace right there, that's what made that work. Got his defender to relax. Now he has to recover back, accelerate hard. Now his defender is in recover mode, meaning he has to sprint to get back to that spot. Perfect time to snatch. Again, look at that shin angle, that's crazy. All his weight is on that leg. Shin angle is there, snatch. That's a great move, great move. Good twist, good snake. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. First of all, let's go over this twist screen. He twists the screen, meaning he just uh, he just flips it. Good snake, defender's on his hip. He's gonna snake it inside, keep his defender there. This is crazy. Good pass, I guess. So I need to start watching some more uh, EuroLeague ball. <laughs> oh, that's great basketball. Great basketball on this. Pass, chase. This is a drill 
like I said, I, I don't like to call myself drills. I call them more like scenarios. This is a scenario I like to do more. Pass, chase, defender overcommits, great read by him. Terrible position for the defense, two guys on him, guys to help, easy kick out. Be ready to shoot that, great shot. That's great basketball. All right, let's get one more good clip in. One more good one. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. We get the same foot. First of all, come off this hesitation, changing speeds. He has hesita hesitation here. Watch this same foot, uh, same hand, stop, pop. That's nice, very nice. This is a great way to just stop on a dime and keep that ball in your um, in the hand away from the uh, defense. Pop, defender goes, great shot. That's a move you guys should really start using. <sighs> All right, y'all. I appreciate, appreciate your time. Um, like like he did uh, in the Discord. Drop whoever you want. I want to start doing a lot more of these film breakdowns just so you guys can visually see in a game this move or any moves, skills, or anything I'm doing. And like this was more like a skill breakdown. It was just him getting his buckets, no passing or anything like that. Um, if you guys want to just tell, tell me what you want, really, because it is about you. It's about you. I'm not – I mean, yeah, I learned from these, but it's, it's not about me. Um, everything, this is all Discord, YouTube, everything, just to help you guys out, help you guys become better basketball players. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. You guys have a good rest of your day. Oh my God.